And of course, you don't need to check up on me, Hunter. I'm fine. Perhaps I wanted some fresh air as well. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm sure they'll be opening an Avengers satellite campus here soon enough. The gods spare us all. <laughs> Look, the Abbey might be a little rustic, but it's ours. <sighs> Was ours. Until these Avengers just swooped in and started treating us like a bunch of outsiders in our own home. And it's not like Caretaker does anything to stop it. Hell, she freaking encourages it. Pisses me off so much I could scream. The Avengers are powerful allies. Yeah, so I keep hearing. I did not finish. As are you and the others. There is a reason Caretaker chose you for the Midnight Suns. You will have many chances to prove yourself before this war is ended. <laughs> Thanks, I think. N not gonna be lining up to assemble anytime soon, but I get it. You know, maybe this all wouldn't be bothering me so much if they were focusing all their effort on finding Wanda. None of them even mention her, let alone discuss how we're gonna rescue her. Because Newsflash, no one plans to, especially Caretaker. She's probably happy she's gone. Ugh, forget I said that. And definitely don't tell Caretaker about any of this. Midnight Sun Cone of Silence, okay? <sighs> Good vent. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> Later, Hunter. I couldn't help but hear some raised voices in the other room. Was wondering if you knew what all the fuss was about. Was there some argument? Something terrible happened this morning. Someone poured themselves the last cup of coffee and failed to brew a new pot. A bloodletting almost ensued. Oh, I laugh. But these petty conflicts are a sign of a team on edge. And who can blame them under these circumstances? In truth, anything that will amp them up like caffeine is probably the last thing they need right now. I should probably take the coffee maker and throw it out. But I fear that might result in a full-out rebellion. Oh, thank you for being my eyes and ears out there. We'll speak later. Hey, Hunter. Parker and I cook something up, and we think you should be a part of it. Oh, you know, if, if you're free. I could be free. Right on. Then let's head over to the shop and... Ah, oops. Almost spoiled the surprise. I tell you what, if you come with me, just for a bit, I promise we won't waste your time. All right. Where are we headed? Oh, it's not too far. I can't wait till you see it. Hey, you made it. Told you. You want to give the rundown or should I? I got this. Welcome to the shop. What is this place? For me, it's a piece of home, away from home. Quite a setup. What need does it fulfill? All kinds. Usually, I work on the Hell Ride, and Parker tinkers with his web gadgets. And as we do, we brainstorm ideas of what we could work on together. I understand why the two of you are here, but why invite me? Caretaker always described you as someone who worked with their hands. You made things. You did the work. So we want to make things with you. Help you do the work. You two are so thoughtful. Where do I start? Wherever you want. Why not let Parker give you a quick rundown on our current project? After that, we'll close up the shop. All right. It's all pretty neat, huh? 
There's not enough here to give you a tour, but I did want to show off our first project. Don't have a name for this yet, but if you run into Eddie again, uh, Venom, we think this could give you an edge. When we fought Eddie, the symbiote reacted strongly to your presence. It noticed something about you and tensed up. Our project takes advantage of this. This project of yours, what does it do? Our first prototype dulls your presence around the symbiote. Makes you harder for Eddie to notice. So, a uh, symbiote muffler? Ha! <laughs> it is now. The other prototype will help if you're ever caught in Eddie's tendrils. It blasts a distracting subsonic pulse that should give you time to both fight your way out and hit him with a counter. Like your zingers that keep him distracted? You know, Robbie and I should let you name all our projects. Then we need to miniaturize it so it fits in your suit. But we could have it ready pretty quick. I look forward to seeing it in action. I knew you'd be into this! We are going to make so many weird things together! Oh yeah, I can scrounge enough components to finish this project, but if there were more, we'd have more options. I'll put together a list and send it to your spark. Bring what you can next time you're here. All right. turn out better than expected sick so that's the shop what do you think you and Parker have outdone yourselves then think of what the three of us can do I'll give you a heads up before shop class meets again shop class right that's what we're calling our time here. See you then. Parker. Used to be a surgeon. Yes. What seems like long ago. Do you miss it? No. You are not usually so brief. Stephen Strange, the surgeon, was a very different person. Selfish, vain, and prone to grandiose delusions of grandeur. What could cause you so much shame? I cared more for personal status than my patients. Most of those were wealthier clients who could afford the procedures. I, I did no harm, mind you, but for all my talent, I can't say I did much good. I shall fondly await our next outing. Something smells... pungent. That would be Grandma Stark's famous linguine and clam sauce. With some Tony adjustments. Grandma's recipe was not good enough? Well, I loved her to pieces, but she also loved vodka in her cooking, and I can't touch the stuff. Not anymore. I even made sure the Abbey has a dry bar. What did I do to deserve this honor? That's just my way of saying thank you for being one of the only Midnight Suns who hasn't threatened to banish me to the Netherworld, empty my jugular, or portal me to the sun. And that was just today. Perhaps if they knew more of the man underneath the armor, they would come to understand you as I have. 
Maybe you're right. The Mark series can be pretty imposing. I was not talking about your suit. Oh, that's deep. Just like the garlic-rich flavor of Grandma Stark's famous sauce. Ah, you two would have really hit it off. Like you, she had a heart of gold, but could be quite the demon when crossed. Used to frighten the crap out of Dad. I thought it gave her character. Know who else I'm pretty sure has character? Who? You. Bon appetit, Hunter. Blade, can we speak in private? Is it about the chore wheel? Because I'm not swapping. No, it is not about that. Good. Everyone knows how I feel about dish duty. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. No. Hell no. I thought you were close with magic. I am. That's why I won't do it. I told Nico and I'll tell you. Magic skims the last chapter of a mystery before starting the book. The woman does not like surprises. Do you know why she dislikes surprises? Does she need a reason? That's how she is. Is there anyone else who could help prep for the party? Outside the Midnight Suns? That Parker kid has way too much energy. May as well put it to good use. Thanks, Blade. For what? Kid's annoying. You'd be doing me a favor by keeping him off my back. Do half vampires need sunblock? Can your fangs drain a cream-filled cake? If we bite each other, would we have the same powers? It just... it never ends. <sighs> Good girl, Charlie. Come along, Charlie. Hey, Hunter. Do you have time to speak in private? Are you firing me? Am I getting fired? No. Why would you ask that? I don't know. I panicked. Uh, sure. Let's talk. Nico needs help prepping for Magic Surprise Party. Really? She asked for me? Her hands are full, so I am delegating. Sure. I'm the new guy. I get it. How can I pitch in? She needs help decorating the party room. I can tape balloons to the ceiling while standing on it. I am so in. I have something for you. A video of a kitten with its entire head in a jar of peanut butter, and then a puppy licks the peanut butter off the kitten. Components for shop class. Eh, almost as good. There it is again. That strange gamma energy signature. The green numbers, as Bruce says. The hydrotech we found is saturated with the same fluorescence. And what does Dr. Banner have to say about that? Can't get an answer from him. He's gone off the grid. AWOL. Happens sometimes when he's working something out. What kind of something? The really big kind. Then what now? We find ourselves another doctor who specializes in creepy gamma science. Just so happens I know of one who recently opened up shop in the area. Of course, he's barking mad. Faustus. One and the same. Well, I suppose you two do have some catching up to do. Oh, you know, Hydra secrets, dastardly plans, the odd bomb launched in my face. How soon before we begin the hunt? Based on the intel we've recovered? Now. Careful. Careful! She will 
no doubt be very temperamental after such a long journey. My beautiful, terrible girl will be free of confinement soon enough. Pray to unleash Mother's righteous fury upon her enemies. The weak, the ignorant, the unworthy. <laughs> My point exactly. Mm. Well, that certainly looks familiar. Dark magic. I can feel it. Just like before. Plus, he's boosted the Gamma Signature. It must be the new and improved Extra Evil model. Ah, yes. Coming soon to a deserted dock near you. So glad you discovered television. <clears throat> Whatever this thing is, it's clearly important to Faust. And Lilith. Which means it's worth a closer look. Way ahead of you there. Forever in service. We've seen what those charges are capable of. Don't get cocky just because you've got Captain Marvel to fall back on. No, no, please. Come, examine the I think you'll find it's not so easy to dismiss this time around. Really wish we could get this clown off our comms. I'm sure Mr. Stark... to show off for me, Blade. Attempt at concealment. We've got company. Once my device disintegrates, the great Captain Marvel, the others will have no choice but to listen. Even that fool Crossbones will be forced to acknowledge my greatness. Not as 
as happy as I'll be when I deliver my fist to your face. like myself every day. No more time to waste. Let us go. Locked in. Many before you have tried and failed. Speeches, no musings from the Dark Book. Is the great Dr. Faustus at a loss for words? <sighs> doesn't have any spells for boosting your cardio. Let's grab this turkey before he makes it to the transport. 
Let's do this! together. Now's our chance. Take Faustus into custody before he can regain his bearing. We must have caused an error in the arming sequence. I know my adjustments should have tripled the disruptor's yield. The next time you will not be so fortunate. Ah, it's almost cute how you think there'll be a next time. Take him so easily, though. Stay alert. More of them dropping in. We need to take care of the rest of these thugs. Don't hold back. Make the same mistake twice. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. that Hydra loyalty and courageous spirit you've been talking so much about?
That is one way. If your presence known. Not a problem. Payback's gonna be fun. Why isn't my transport ready? Do I need to spell it out for you? You're finished. Even your own troops can take the hint. Excellent work. right hand of the demon mother, who hears the whispers of the dark god Cthon, who was chosen to learn his secrets in the one true tome of creation. Do you really think I could be afraid of you? Yeah. What? What? Black Ops, Black Ops Division. You should see the file Steve's got on the guy. Faustus must have outlived his usefulness to Hydra. And sadly, us. Perhaps not. If decades of fighting the undead have taught me one thing, there's always an answer. Provided you dig deep enough. Get that back to the Abbey. Only maybe wipe it down with a napkin first. <laughs> <laughs> 